Today we're going to discuss what to look for in your accountant. Hello, this is Gordon De Silva, and welcome to the Profit Boosting Ideas Thousand Pound Tips to building a great business with less time, stress, and effort. So let's get started. So, uh, Mark, thank you for coming in. And uh, some of these questions, again, you know, just feel free to add lib as you go, yeah. and then we can cut any bits that are you know, unsuitable yeah. for you, whatever. So what kinds of problems or frustrations were you experiencing when you started working with us, uh, Mark? Well, I set up as a small business uh, and I was very dependent on accountancy advice. But the accountant that I first hooked up with was not like you at all. He, he, he had a, I think he had too many accounts, basically, and things were always late. Things were never done properly, I felt. I felt I was paying too much tax. And it... I don't know why I stuck with him for five or six years, but I'm slow to move and I didn't move and the company got in a bigger and bigger mess because he wasn't giving me the right advice or taking the right action. So I suppose I had a bad accountant um, initially and I realised it had to change. And I looked, I think I got some advice, uh, but I also looked online and local uh, Wimbledon area, a Merton area accountants, yours came up and I rang you and we had a chat and I was impressed and we've been together ever since. And the rest is history, the rest is history. Say, right? yeah. uh, So how do you feel about your operation or your business has been impacted since joining us? You know, well, I know things have changed in your lifestyle, yeah. right? but you know, what sort of experience have you had with us over those years? Well, I'm, to start with, I, wasn't, I was no longer worried about the accounting. Uh, which when you're in a small company and you feel your accounting is out of control or not being done properly is a big worry and suddenly I wasn't worried at all. I was felt I was up to date. Um, you have wonderful systems um, and a lot of advice was coming. There were help sheets when you had to fill something in. You just really felt looked after and you felt it was being done professionally. And I think that um, the, the other thing is I... I'm not very good about doing things on time myself, so one one reminder of a deadline wasn't really enough for me, but you're so good. You, you bang on weekly reminders, you still haven't done this, you still haven't done this, and you're very clear about the financial implications of it all, and it's a great help because you feel, even if you had a really busy month and couldn't do it that month, that you're still going to get a reminder. So you kept me on track. And so life was much more calm on the money side of things when I hooked up with you. That's fantastic to hear. Um, and that, did you did you interview any other accounts when you chose us those years ago? No, we didn't. You, you were really? well, well. you were so disarming and wonderful on the phone that there was clearly no choice. <laughs> That's really lovely of you to say. Um, so, in terms of some of the um, planning, we haven't really uh, got involved with you very much. Uh, with helping your business grow, I think. But what t you know, what, what were some of the, the best moments, do you think, from when you think back in the five, six years we've been working together, where our attitude and our ability, I know we've got the reminder system and stuff, but what other things stick in your mind? As well, I think the big thing you helped me with was uh, you, you moved me to a, a limited company status uh, um, from sole trader. And these are things that I... am you know, I'm really not aware of the relative benefits and when a company should change and move. And you supervise that. And you also came up with le completely legal ways, though, of minimising tax within the limit, uh, limited liability company. And so, again, it's part of what I was saying earlier, that you just feel that whatever can be done to, to limit tax and organise things properly uh, will be done. That is lovely to hear. Um, do you feel we keep our promises? That's, a, that's an interesting uh, question. So it's a funny thing. I think I think I never really. Some of your um, <laughs> you won't make me use this. Some of your um, slogans have not really been uh, you know uh, relevant to me. So I don't feel that I've been subject to any of the more um, ambitious promises. Um, I'm sure you would have. But it's never been really something, I mean, I was just looking for a competent a, accountant service which would not, would save me paying unnecessary tax, but I, I wasn't really looking to double the size of the company or anything. I know that sounds unambitious, but I've always had other things in my life um, 
children, now grandchildren, that I wanted to have as well. So I, I wasn't wanting to do... I mean, you, you actually were advising me to do paperless offices and uh, you would have supplied, put, hooked me into various networks. I know all that. I probably could have used you much more. I didn't because I just wanted my company to have its niche in my life but do other things as well. Fantastic. And in terms of the, the promise that we, we gave you when we took you on and you hired us without even talking to anyone else, have we kept those? Of the oh, yes, yes. Well, I'm, I'm very happy. I mean, I don't have a single criticism. You've delivered everything I've wanted. I haven't, I haven't sort of pushed where I probably maybe could have pushed your service, but that was my decision, not yours. And you were always there saying, we could do this or we could do that. And I, what, I was happy with the level of business I was doing. It gave me a comfortable lifestyle. And I, I didn't have a great ambition to go on and on and become a, a, a huge company. Very good. And in terms of um, the experience of our admin team, have you had much experience with the admin team? I think your people are brilliant. Um, and you're brilliant, obviously, but um, I think that people like Jackie, um, she is superb. She's a little diamond. And she is. I, so, I mean, over six years or seven years, I, um, we've become friends. And she's, your whole ethos of your company, I mean, you're very good accountants, but beyond that, you make you feel you're part of a team and you make one feel that the service ethos of your company is remarkable. And that's not just you, it's also your team. And it's, uh, for me, it's personified by Jackie. She's absolutely superb. That is fine. She, she would love to hear that, and I'll tell her that. And, and just one last question. There were times in the past where the company went through some difficulties. Yes. Right? Can you tell us about how you, how we responded to those when you when you look for help and stuff? Well, there was. I mean, I I, I have had market research, which is what I do, uh, has had difficult times. It, it it's always the first budget companies cut. They feel they've got to advertise. They've obviously got to keep their staff. But market research. I mean, you don't have to do a research project to to market a business. You can guess or you can use your experience. So market research is a very volatile industry and therefore there are rich years and there are bad years. And if you get two bad years running um, when you're a small company, you can easily you can get into difficulties. And there was one year I came very close to feeling I had to declare bankruptcy, but you guided me through it. You, you did put me in touch with a, a bankruptcy person who was helpful, but all, I decided I... I'd go on and you helped me through that period and to um, uh, calmer seas on the other side. So yes, you're, you're not just there for the successes. If you don't abandon uh, a company in difficulties, you keep on with them. And I, I, at the years I was in difficulties, I very much appreciated that. I've used up enough of your time, Mark. Are there any closing words you might have to anyone watching this video that you might uh, feel would be benefit of them, to them working out whether to so shortlist us? I don't think there's an issue at all. I, I think that, that it's a no-brainer, no as they would say. It's, um, you, are, you deliver whatever you say, and you do it with friendship, style, and support that it, I very much appreciate it. Mark, thank you very much. This is Gordon De Silva, and thank you for listening. Visit successstorybuilder.com for show notes for this episode. We help build your business success story. Get even more when you connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. I help business owners accelerate business growth. If you want to know more, visit successstorybuilder.com. Take good care of yourself and see you on the next episode of Profit Boosting Ideas. Goodbye.